This lesson, we're going to be looking under the Tools option. So within the Tools, we can create a form. If we create a brand new form, this is going to create a form that's going to allow us to add form responses. And we can update that form so we can add different questions of the form. And this is where the form data is going to be submitted. So this creates a Google form that we can submit content into the spreadsheet. And if we want to X, X, if we want to select the form, we can delete the form, we can duplicate it, we can copy it, rename it, change the color, and then we've got the same uh, sheet options as well for this. If we want to access the form content, you can go under the tools, and from here you could manage form, and you can go to edit the form, go to the live form, send form, embed form in a web page, show summary of responses, and unlink form. Editing the form will bring you to the form editor where you can update the questions and you can add in more questions. So this is the form in Google Forms. And updating those questions, it will use whatever the question name is, whatever the question title is, as the heading for the sheet data. And then once again, going back to the tools, you can go to the live form. So this is the form that you can share and others can access the form. So they can fill it out and they can submit content. If they do submit content into the form, you're going to see the timestamp and the option of the form. So you get the data that was submitted. Again, going to manage, you can send the form. So this is the form URL where you could send it via email to others. You can also collect emails. You can use a direct link to the form or you could get the embed HTML. So that allows you to embed the code as HTML. You can also send it via Facebook or Twitter so that others can interact with the form content. Also under the manage form, so if you want to embed it into a web page, that will provide you the embed content directly to that pop-up window where you can embed the form contents into a web page in HTML. You can also see a summary of the responses. So this is, again, going over to the form interface where we've got the responses. And from those responses, you can see the questions, the individual responses, and then also you can view the spreadsheet that this form is connected to. And within the options of the form, you can get email notifications when there's new responses. You can also unlink the form, download the responses, print all of the responses, delete all of the responses. If you do de delete the responses, that's gonna re delete the responses within the form, but not within the spreadsheet and those fonts responses will still be set within the sheet. You've got the typical form where you can customize the theme, you can preview, and then you can send it. So you've got the typical form options as this is just a regular form within Google Sheets. Let's go ahead and we're gonna delete that form. In order to delete it, you have to unlink the form first. So go ahead and unlink the form. And then that way we can delete the form sheet from our spreadsheet. So the form will still exist within the Google Drive, but now it's not gonna be linked anymore to the spreadsheet. And you now have an option if you want to relink it or link it to a new sheet. So also under tools, we have a spell check and a personal dictionary. So the spell check will just go through the words and make suggestions where you can ignore, change, or add to your personal dictionary. There's also an autocomplete. So the autocomplete is a really useful function that usually I keep on and it enables autocomplete within the sheet cell. There's also formula suggestions and formula corrections. So these are just useful ways to, uh, when you are interacting with the, for, with the Google Sheet, that you have all of these suggestions with the autocomplete. And this is a smart autocomplete, which uh, I usually find that these suggestions are very useful in what I'm trying to do. There's notification rules. So when you click the notification rules, you can notify the, your account when any changes are made or whenever the user submits a form. You can also notify and when you set the notifications, so it can be a daily digest or it can be emailed right away. So these are also useful if you wanna monitor and you've shared the Google Sheet with others and you wanna monitor interactions on the sheet, including form submissions. There's also an accessibility option. So you can turn on the screen reader support you can also turn on the magnifier support. So you do have accessibility settings within the tools options of your Google Sheet.